Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Anson, and welcome back to a brand new Discord JS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to simply build your own, well, not really build, but get started with uh, making your own music bot. Okay, so I might turn this into a series, but the whole point of this video is to get you guys started on how to uh, play around with the Discord JS uh, voice support so you can make your own music bot or do whatever you want. Okay, so some things that you will need is you need to make sure you have Node.js installed. Um, go to this website, download Node.js on whatever for whatever operating system you're using, um, and also make sure you have the Discord JS library installed. Really easy, just copy this, paste it into your command prompt or whatever you're using. Click Enter or press Enter, and it'll install it. All right, cool. So assuming that you guys have done all of that, um, I think we are good to go. So yeah, uh, if you guys don't know how to make a simple Discord bot, I highly recommend you watch some of my videos on how to get started. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to make this video like too long. Like personally, I would explain everything, like all like you know the simple stuff, but it would take way too long. So just check out some of my other videos to get you guys started. So assuming you have a basic idea on how to get started with making a Discord bot, let's go ahead and jump right into how to actually you know make a music bot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inside this message event, right? I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say okay, if message dot content dot to lowercase starts with, and then we're going to say question mark play. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this is because we want our bot to play music on command. Now most music bots typically are inside a channel 24/7, and they just play music. Now, again, that I'm probably gonna save that for another video. Um, like I said, we're tr we're not trying to make things too complicated. Although it wouldn't really be you know complicated to implement. But for this video, we're just gonna make things simple, and we're gonna have your bot play music on command. So whenever a user does question mark play, which is the command, the bot is going to join the channel and it's gonna play whatever YouTube URL we want. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the we want to get the music. We want to get the voice channel that we want the bot to join. So I want the bot to join this music bot channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the ID, and I'm going to say let voice channel equal. So I need to get the channel. So in order to get the channel, what I'm going to do is I need to get the guild object. So to get the guild object, we can reference that by saying message guild. And you can see the IntelliSense is picking it up. And then Guild has a property called Channels, which is a collection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the find method. And I want to find the correct channel. So we're going to so the find. So since this collection returns a channel, I'm going to pass in, you know, I'm going to say channel, and I'm just using an arrow function. So this returns a channel object, or it takes in a channel object for each uh, channel instance inside the collection. And I'm going to check if the ID is equal to this. Okay, so now I'm going to just make sure that the channel was found. So if the channel is not null, we're going to say voice channel dot name was found, and is a. We're going to we're going to print out the type, just to make sure that it's a voice channel. So let's go ahead and. Do nodemon musicbot.js. Okay, and let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens. Musicbot was found and is a voice channel. Perfect. Alright, so now that that works, now that we found the correct channel, what we want to do is we want to actually get the bot to go inside this music channel. This is a music bot channel. So since this voice channel is is a channel, it's it's a it's a voice channel, right? Now there, there are multiple types of channels. They are text channels, private channels, DM channels, right? So the voice channel object has a method called join. And what this will do is it'll return a promise. Okay. So what will, do, what will happen is it'll join the channel and return a promise. So it returns a connection. Okay, the promise returns a connection. So let me show you what happens. So bot join the channel. So to get the bot to actually join the channel, we're going to just do voice channel. Again, the, the voice channel object and then dot join. So if I do play. Uh, okay, so you're going to see that we have an error. The reason why is because we need, you can see it says FFmpeg 
is not found so we need to actually install that so what you're gonna do is you're going to go to this URL you're gonna click on download and you're gonna download whatever for whatever operating system you're using so I use Windows so you're gonna download it for Windows and it's gonna save a zip file to your system okay once you do that so you're gonna see you have the zip file you're gonna extract it and you're gonna go to you're gonna go to your uh, well actually what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it wherever you want so I have it put um, I actually have it inside over I think my C drive let me double check that yeah over, over here so I put this inside my C drive and I'm gonna click on the bid folder you're gonna copy this path this absolute path then you're gonna go to your system properties you're gonna click on environment variables and then you're going to go to system variables you're gonna find the path variable really easy stuff and just click on new and then just paste that in and you should be all set so you need to make sure you restart your terminal so so go over to uh, pr let me go to my directory again so you're gonna notice that I will now have this ffmpeg command that works so if I do nodemon musicbot.js we're not going to get the error anymore. So notice how the bot's in the channel, but it's not doing anything. Okay, so let's actually make it play some music. All right, so now that the bot's in the channel, what we want to do is you want to make sure you install a Node.js module called ytdl-core. So just simply go to, I'm going to put this in the description, but just simply install it. Okay, you can just do npm install ytdl-core. Okay, and once you do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, uh, let me actually pull this up. I actually need to refer to the documentation real quick. But basically, the connection that, this is a voice, connect, this is a voice connection type, right? So what we want to do is we want to use this connection to play a stream. So this connection actually has a method called play stream. Okay? So if you actually go to the documentation and I'm grabbing this directly from the documentation, it'll it'll give you a basic example on how to actually play a stream using the YTDL core, the Node.js module I just ta told you guys about. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this. Okay? And I'm going to paste that right up over, you know, I'll paste it right over here. Okay, so this is just requiring the Node.js module, and this is just providing it with stream options. So I'm going to do, and I'm just going again. I'm just going to copy this from the Discord JS documentation. Okay, so what we're doing here, well, what they did was they created a variable called stream, and they're pass. They're using the YTDL module, and they're passing in. A YouTube URL. So this is part of the the YouTube download the YouTube download module, not part of the Discord. This is not part of the Discord JS module. This is part of the YouTube DL module. Okay, and then they're passing in options where they want it to be audio only, and then we're using a dispatcher. Or, well, we're calling it dispatcher, and we're saying that's equal to connection dot play stream, and then we're passing in this stream which references this URL, and then the stream options which is up here. Okay, don't think too much about it. Just understand that that's pretty much the most basic example that you can use. If you want to go in depth on it, you can just read the documentation. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to actually just paste this YouTube URL. Um, okay, so watch, so this is, so watch what's going to happen. So I'm going to do, let me just join the channel, and let me just make sure, okay. So let's do question mark play. So you can see that the music, the the bot is actually playing that YouTube URL. So yeah, it's it's playing it directly from the music player bot. Yep. I'll turn it up a little bit so you guys can actually hear it. Yeah, this is all playing from the music player bot. So I'm actually playing this song right over here. You can see it's not, you can see I'm not playing it from here. All right. 
I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to like, you know, bullshit you guys. But yeah, it's, it's directly playing from the bot. If I mute it, the bot stops playing it. So hopefully that proves to you guys that, you know, I'm not lying or anything like that. Uh, and hopefully I don't get flagged. I mean, I am playing no copyright music. So I shouldn't get flagged. But yeah. So what's going to happen is... This will play. And once the... Uh, well, actually, nothing happens, actually. So let me actually mute this for a second. Okay, so right now, nothing actually happens when the uh, when the stream finishes. So what you can do is actually... Uh, let me just go over to the, uh, the play stream method. Let me find it real quick. Play stream. Okay. So if I remember correctly, this actually... Uh, you can actually make the bot leave once the uh, the stream finishes playing so what I'll do is you know what uh, I'll save that for another video but hopefully this actually you know got you guys will get you guys in the right direction and I'm pretty sure it will um it's really really easy all links will be in the description uh, down below um, if you guys have any you know comments any feedback is appreciated um, if this video helped you out um, yeah feel free to you know just comment your feedback what you think if you guys have any ideas on, you know, videos um, that I could probably cover, feel free, and I'll definitely take that into consideration. So, until next time, I will see you guys in my future videos. Peace.